Well, we're back um, on the channel again and just wanted to come back and do a little video here. Kind of like a, kind of like an unboxing video, not really an unboxing video, but it's sort of, you know. Um, so I went, it was my payday this uh, today, so I had some money and I decided, well, we've had enough cooking with how we're cooking and doing all that hard ways of cooking. So for fishing out on the dock, this this stuff's gonna be for fishing out on the dock, I got a barbecue, as you see, a hibachi barbecue. So there's our first item that we, we're not gonna unbox it because I'd rather unbox it at the lake and put it all together or put it together on a separate video. Uh, so you can see all that and whatnot, I don't wanna, right? But uh, this is the small little, it was like $19.99 at Canadian Tire. Now that's a Canadian outfit store. Uh, sells a lot of sporting goods stuff, um, stuff like that, you know, household stuff. But uh, this was $19.99 for a little hibachi. And then I got some other stuff here for for like a, for cheaper, like seven bucks for a plate. Right, so a little plate. And then we got a Woods drinking cup. As you can see, there's Woods drinking cup. How much was that one? I think this one was like eight bucks for the cup. Here's this for 10 bucks. This is a Master Chief spatula and tongs and a fork thing for the bar for the barbecue or for the fire or whatever, right? And also I got, instead of getting a spork, which is just a spoon and a fork, I got this. So it's like a knife, a fork and a spoon all together in, in one set. So I've got, I've got that. Uh, and then here's what we'll unbox here. This is the unboxing part that I wanted to do with you guys. This is a dishes set, as you can see. There's my dishes that I get with, that I bought. So let's unbox it and see what we got. Cause this one's really easy to unbox. We can do it in like, you know, it doesn't, I don't have to cut any tape and assemble anything. So let's see what we got for dishes. Oh, it comes in a nice case. Holy, comes in a nice little case. Like this right here is, look at that case. It's a nice little case that comes in. Let's unbox it here, unbag it, take it out. Oh wow, I haven't even looked at these yet, so. Oh wow, they're all individually wrapped. Cool, look at that. Would you look at that? They're all individually wrapped. Would you look at that? Well, that must be for the kettle. I'm willing to bet that's for the kettle. Put that down there. I have a little tiny kettle in here too, in this set for boiling water. <laughs> little kettle. So yeah, that's for the kettle. That goes on the kettle like that. There. There, I could boil some water and make tea. <laughs> that was too funny. Here's our cooking pots. Let's take it out up here. Like this. And out of this bag. There we go. And it's got those folding grip handles so you can lift it up and and whatever else have you right you got the handles to lift it with and they just fold right along the side like that we got another big cooking pot i think this is all made by woods too i'm not sure i have to read the box again with the folding handles so i can lift it so let's put that in there like that i like how that sits in there Oh, yeah, that goes in there like that. <clears throat> Here's our pan, again, with folding handles. So I have the handles that fold. It's a nice little pan. I like that. That's a nice little pan. Yeah, that's... Look at that, eh? Pretty neat. Again, we'll fold our handles. This here sits in there like that. And you got... That goes down like that. You got one lid that goes on there. Let's have a look at these lids here. They got little ha little handles on them so that you can lift it up and take it on and off. A nice quality. This is good quality dishes, man. This is made by Woods. Yeah, this is made by Woods. So getting a good set of dishes here, man. This is backpacking dishes. So there's our dishes that we bought. So these bags, I don't need these bags. Oops. These bags are 
and burnable in the fire when we start a fire tonight. And I'm thinking I'll probably end up starting a fire on camera with you guys so that you can and we'll use we'll christen these dishes over the over the fire tonight. We'll christen the dishes over the fire and we'll use them for cooking. If I if I decide that I'm gonna start the fire and do a cooking video out of out of all this, I may. I may that's what I may decide that I'm doing. Is a cooking video out of all this. So there we go. I'm gonna tie a little knot in the base of this here so I have so it's not all pulling two strings at once. I don't like it like that. Suck that up to there like that. There we go. There we go. Would you look at that? We have camping dishes. Righty roo. Camping dishes it is, man. All right. So that's our pretty much our unbo. Oh, and we've got four of the barbecue. Oh, I bought the briquettes too. So, and another thing I'm going to show you guys quickly here. What I bought for sitting around the fire. I'll throw a little down there for now. What I bought in for sitting around the fire was. Uh, I'll show you here what I got for sitting around the fire. It's a tent of a little fuck off. Fuck off. There we go. Bug, sorry. A little tent of uh, sorts. You can see what it is here. You can put two chairs in that, right? And it just folds up and you can let the wind blow through or you can seal it so the wind doesn't go through. So it, it's like a little wind and sunblock for around the fire or at the beach or at the campsite, whatever, right? So, you know, it's kind of a cool little thing, I thought. So I was like, screw it, I'm going to get that. So I did. And then I have for while I'm fishing out there, when I'm fishing, I got a, a beach umbrella, right? And I'll kind of zap strap or bungee cord that to my chair and I'll set it up and I'll have rain, I'll have rain, rainproof and I'll have sun, sunshade, right? So instead of having to take that big tent out there and set that up on the dock, I got an umbrella that's easy. So, okay. So I think, um... I was going to get a ferro rod today, so a fire striker, like a, um, a flint, a fi uh, not a, yeah, a, a fire, a fire flint or fire steel. I was going to get a fire, a fire steel, but I forgot. And another thing I was going to get today was, um, a, uh, a magnesium flint stick. So I'll have to do that on the next paycheck, which is okay. I can do that. Uh, I've got lighters, so we can just do that for now, but, um, I'm kind of curious at how this is going to go, you know, we'll unbox the barbecue in another video and we'll, we'll do the, the setup and everything of the barbecue, you know, in a different video and whatnot. But today I think we're going to get the fire going in a little while. Um, I'll come back and do a video of, of all that and we'll use all these tools most majority of the tools like the plate, the cup, the, the, the utensils for, for cooking and the dishes. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to use the barbecue to cook it in because I don't really want to do that, you know, and it's kind of pointless to do that anyways. So I don't know that I want to use the barbecue to cook in. So, but, uh, this barbecue here would be a perfect little barbecue to, to put heat in my shack. So I could use it for cooking and then I could use it in the, in the winter to cook, right? In the shack, if I wanted to cook in the shack and not, not be out in the snow and the rain, I can cook in my shack here, fuck off, with a, with the barbecue and I just have to leave the coals, the briquette coals burning and they'll burn nice and warm and it'll keep this shack in here nice and warm. So I won't need, there will be no need for a propane heater in here anymore. So... So yeah, and you can you can add a few more briquettes to it to to keep the heat going, right? So, and I just set my briquette barbecue right there or right up in here, right in the front here, so I can easily get to it. Mhm. Mm mm. I might even just set it up right on my worm farm, on the lid of my worm farm, which would be. 
all right too so mm. sorry guys my coffee from my lunch I had a late lunch today so that's why I'm gonna start the fire a little bit later today and uh, we'll do a bit a bit of a later cook today uh, but I just wanted to come on shortly for a short do a short video here now I, I also want to say that none of my videos are gonna be posted right away anymore only because I don't have very good Wi-Fi where I'm living to uh, uh, post post videos directly after I I uh, I film them so um this video probably won't be posted right away I mean I can try but we'll see I don't know and uh, but if it doesn't then it'll be posted in the next two weeks so I will uh, I will get back to you guys when I start the fire all right peace